Thanks again for coming to one of PlyGem's uh, YouTube videos. What we're doing today on this video is we're going to try to show you how to do another step with out outside corner posts mainly. We're going to show you how to overlap them if you need to use two pieces, which happens on a lot of two stories and bigger. And then we're going to show you how to close off the bottom of the corner post, which is a nice little trick. So what we're going to do on the overlap, we're going to show you as you go up the wall on the first piece you install, which is the lower piece, and we'll show you a piece of that. So again, when you nail that lower piece, you're still going to nail it in the top slot on both sides, just like we told you before. So you're going to nail that up, hold it up by that top nail, leave it where it is, get your second piece, which you're now going to show you how to adapt the second piece. You take the second piece, and what you're going to do on the bottom of the second piece, as Eric's showing you, you're going to cut the nail hem <coughs> Of on both sides completely off. <clears throat> so now you have the second piece ready to go. Let's put them together. So the first piece is on the wall already installed. You take the second piece and slide it over the top. It has to go top over bottom. But remember, here's a critical part. Even though you're cut away an inch, you only want to overlap three quarters. And Eric's showing you the gap between the nail hems because if those nail hems are tight, the buckle, the corner post will buckle. So cut away an inch overlap three quarters. So that's how you handle the overlap. It'll happen on a lot of homes for you. Let's show you a nice little trick here. Let's show you an open corner post first. You know, if you have an overhang over a porch or something, you're gonna see an open corner post and that doesn't look very good, it looks hollow. So let's show you a little trick. But what you're actually gonna do, we're gonna show you this in stages too. Uh, at the bottom of the corner, that's gonna be on the overhang of the porch. You wanna cut away again, just like the overlap, one inch on both sides. And then what you're going to do next, at the very edge of the corner, you're going to cut straight up the center one inch. And then on one flap, you're going to actually cut a 45 degree miter. So that shows you how you prepare. Let's show you what you do on the next step. You're going to get yourself a pair of hand seamers. We have a pair. We already bent this for you, so you didn't have to see a struggle. And then you're actually going to bend down both sides. And you're going to see Eric has already done that. And you can see how the corner lays. And you want to make sure that that miter section is over the top. And again, you have a choice. If you want to close that off, you can miter it and put a little screw in there, but you don't really have to. So that gives you what the finished corner post is going to look like if you want to close it off on the outside corner. So again, thanks for viewing our YouTube. Continue to look at the YouTube schedule to find more helpful PlyGem vinyl siding tips.